Hey everyone, so I thought I'd try something new, as I understand all the cool kids are doing it, and um, try recording a piece to webcam to show you what I'm working on at the moment with the new exciting 3D pipeline um, that I'm working on. Um, this is mostly work from yesterday, uh, some of which didn't work terribly well, so I can't show you, but um, some of which worked really rather well indeed. So the problem I'm currently working on is facial animation. Body mo motion capture, we've got pretty well covered because at the end of the day, we have the motion capture suits. They just work, we can plug the animation in, we know that uh, we can get that out. But facial animation has been a bit of a problem for us. And after doing facial animation the conventional way for Death Knight Love Story, which has been very cool, but very slow, um, I am looking at alternative techniques. And the approach that I'm taking first is to go right back to the old days and do essentially what we did on Bloodspell, which was the feature film we made in Neverwinter Nights. So what I'm doing is I'm using a puppetry approach, um, using one of these Xbox controller, which I'm hooking directly up to the facial animations of our characters, so I can do things like move their eyes around, give them facial expressions, and so forth. I'm also investigating using Motion Builder's ability to automatically do lip sync for dialogue. But oddly enough, dialogue's not actually the big problem in facial animation. There's not a hell of a lot of minutes of dialogue in your average film compared to the amount of time there is of characters sitting and reacting. So that's the problem I'm trying to solve first. Now, let me just switch over here to uh, this exciting new streaming software that I have just installed, um, which once again, um, all the kids are doing it these days, etc, etc, and see if I can show you what I mean. Right, so as I said, what we have here is one of these funky things, the Xbox 360 controller, um, wired not wireless, because for some obscure reason it's very hard to connect a wireless Xbox controller to a PC, or so I have initially discovered. Now all I've done here is I have used Motion Builder's ability to connect control connect live controllers because this is a motion capture system originally in, in, primarily uh, connect live controllers up to um, the character that I'm using. You can see here this is my output from Daz 3D, um, and it's got a whole lot of controls, rather more than it should do because I haven't quite yet figured out the export controls properly. Um, and it is connected up to my joystick over here via a, a whole load of stuff that looks very complicated but actually isn't terribly. Um, it's all drag and drop, it's quite fun. Um, now there's a no number of quirks and weirdnesses with, with all this, but the end result you get is really quite clever. Let me show you. Um, so I'm going to hold this thing up so you can see it here. And then if I open this, you see that I, I've, I've attached this um, joystick to the character's expression. So currently she's got the scared expression. And I can vary the level of that. Because this is an analog stick, I can give her slightly scared or, you know, a little bit nervous or terrified. Uh, likewise, we can give her slightly happy or carnivorous, um, because that expression's a little bit dodgy. Um, we can give her sad, very sad, extremely sad, sim sad. Um, or we can give her angry, very angry, extremely angry, intent incredibly angry. Um, one thing I've done which I'm probably going to change is I've hooked her... Eye eyelashes and her, her eyes, um, closing eyes, up to this trigger here, so I can control her eyes, which I can use to make flutter of eyelashes or blink. Um, annoyingly, when you're actually doing this at the same time, it don't, I'll get onto that. Um, and lastly, I have actually l l hooked her eyes directly up to this joystick here, which I think is going to be the most powerful aspect of this. So. Um, initial testing on this looks very good. Um, you can hook it up to the voice control at the same time, uh, but I had some problems with that. There appears to be a bug with Motion Builder, which means that it uh, periodically decides it's going to hide half of the controls from you, which is lovely. Um, I have done some tests on that, but I haven't got anything to show you. There are a couple of problems I've already noticed. The main one is, if you're controlling all of these at the same time, uh, for starters, it's very hard to get in the webcam window, um, but also, you'll see here, if I'm controlling... You'll see here, if I'm controlling this joystick, then if I'm trying to get a very precise expression, then as soon as I try and get her to blink, because of the fact that I'm using thumb and forefinger, um, 
me getting her to blink actually changes her expression a little bit, which is going to get quite irritating. So my feeling is that you can either use these two sticks, which is fine, you can see this. Kind of disturbing, but you can see it. Um, but I can't also use, ow, um, the triggers without uh, a lot more practice or something else. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, next stages are to, as I say, hook it up to the voice at the same time, which is perfectly doable. I just haven't got around to it yet uh, because I spent a rather long time wrestling with an inefficient way of um, doing lip sync. And the other thing that I'm going to do that I'm very excited about, and I might even get onto that this afternoon, is to hook a lot more of her expressions up to a MIDI keyboard. Um, it's occurring to me that while what I've got set up there is very similar to what we used on Death Knight Love Story, which is to say that it's a basic... Um, set of expressions, angry, afraid, happy, and sad. Um, but if we use a MIDI keyboard, I can actually get more sophisticated. I can hook up um, brow movements, I can hook up nose movements and mouth movements all separately. And my feeling is that it may be better to do three puppetry passes through um, each shot or each performance. One on the eyes, one on the mouth, um, one on sundry other facial features. Um, and we'll see what that produces. Hopefully looking at getting a test animation out end of the week, but quite possibly next week. So, hope that's been interesting. Um, as I said, bit of an experiment. I feel slightly dirty uh, recording on anything that has a fixed lens. Um, but let me know what you thought of the quality, let me know if you found that interesting. One thing that's occurred to me is, thanks to all this exciting internet -y technology stuff, um, I could potentially actually do a live stream uh, of some of my development, so let me know if that would be something you'd like to see, and um, I will talk to you all in a textual, physical, or whatever form very soon. Cheers.